There's a new study out showing how pets gave their humans these drug-resistant infections, and the details about how they solved this are pretty wild. So you remember recently seeing in the news that there are these infections of nightmare bacteria that were on the rise, according to the CDC. Well, these pets had those exact type of infections that were being given to humans. So how did they actually solve this? So there were a couple things happening. There was an outbreak of these drug-resistant infections at a veterinarian hospital, and they couldn't figure out how it was actually happening or spreading among the animals, so they sampled a bunch of the surfaces, found it all throughout the animal hospital, and they found it out through many of the animals that were being housed and taken care of in the hospitals. At the same time, a hospital taking care of humans had three patients with this nightmare bacteria, and they did DNA fingerprinting on them, and they were the exact same infections, but when you just looked at the humans, nothing actually put them together, so they couldn't figure out where they were getting it from. So it wasn't until both investigations publicly shared their data on the NIH platform and found that those infections on the animals were the exact same causing infections on the humans. That allowed investigators to go back to those humans and say, hey, do you have anything in common with these animals? And what they found is that all three of those humans had animals and pets that were being taken care of at that veterinarian hospital. So this figure here from the study actually shows the timeline of these infections and of this outbreak. So human case A had their pet, animal A, a dog that was in the veterinarian hospital, came home, and then human A got a urinary tract infection from that exact same bacteria. Same thing with human cases B and C. They had a cat or a dog that was taken care of in that hospital having an outbreak. The pets came home and subsequently gave their humans that infection or that bacteria onto them. So what does this all mean? Of course, pets are great. We want to have pets at home, but the investigators say that, you know, they could be a source of bacteria and they could be a source of these drug-resistant bacteria. What they're calling for is more comparison between animal health and human health, which is called a one health approach. When we look at antimicrobial resistance, we have to think about what's happening with animals and our food to actually see what's happening in humans because they cause and affect each other. So it's really important to keep that moving forward and you can still hug your dog and your cats love them they are wonderful this is just a one case example of what could happen when we see drug resistant infections spreading in the community